Black Ops 2 played a significant role in the childhoods of both myself and many others. Today I have decided to revisit the early 2010s by beating every zombies map for the first time ever. I did this entirely solo and managed to do this within just a week's time. Now the end did get a bit crazy so make sure you stay for that. But anyways let's start with the best map of all time. Alright so here we are on transit. This is the first map of Black Ops 2 and it does have an easter egg that is possible to complete solo without mods. So that is what I will be doing and I do not have any mods for this map now from what i saw this easter egg actually seems fairly simple but it is a bit tedious as you do have to run across the map multiple times but i guess if you were to ever play transit that is how you would play anyway so it doesn't really matter but the first piece should be right here there it is now to place this we actually have to travel pretty much all the way across the map so i'm actually just going to teleport and hope that i get lucky because i do not want to run all the way across the map as that just takes way too much time so i'm actually getting teleported to like pretty much exactly where I don't need to be. I guess I'm just gonna run it. I am pretty close. I'm not too far. I just realized that I didn't buy Quick Revive and so I definitely gotta pay attention here just to make sure I don't go down. So the location we actually have to build this at is in the middle of the maze in transit and it is just under this tower here there should be a small little section to where i can place it it's really small so right here and there we go that is the first piece i believe we need two more pieces the next piece is this radio here inside of knocked okay and now we got this piece built third part actually has two spawn locations and they're actually very far from each other so hopefully i get lucky otherwise i'm gonna have to run around the entire map again and honestly my fingers are starting to get a bit sore from knifing these dudes all right so i am deciding to check the power station for the third part because i do have to turn on the power anyways so unfortunately it doesn't seem that the part is here so i will have to run all the way across the map okay so here is the third part that should be the final part which is the table and if you couldn't guess i do have to run all the way back now so after a few teleportations i finally made it back to the cornfield and at this point i honestly just want to know who at treyarch thought it'd be a good idea to make this map's layout the way they did i feel like the denizens should have at least had some sort of cap on how many can spawn because it really does get tiring just knifing these dudes over and over again throughout the match i actually need to teleport back to spawn so that i can get quicker by because if i die that is game over okay so somehow the round ended and there is a storm so i'm pretty sure that means the avogadro is going to spawn and it is round three i have no gun and no perks really just hoping i don't die here all right now i got quicker by i'm now a little less worried about dying okay the m1911 is just not not cutting it i do need to get another gun asap but before i do that i think i will build the jet gun and i may also just add a timer just so you guys can really see how long this does take if i can find the first piece so here is the first piece here is the first piece the second piece there's the third piece and this is the fourth and final piece to the jet gun now i did get lucky with a few teleport spots so it may actually take you a bit longer than it did for me or it could be a bit shorter it goes either way but currently i'm not going to take the jet gun because i believe i may still need my turbine so for now i think i'm going to go get a gun and get some perks as well as some points as i've honestly don't think i've ever been on round three for this long in my entire life and the only reason i've never done any black ops 2 easter eggs is because when this game came out i was too scared to play solo and i know i'm not the only person that was too scared to play solo and if i ever did have a group the only thing i ever wanted to do was go for high rounds which back then was about round 30 and this game really didn't have a reward for doing all the easter eggs so it was never really worth it besides getting achievements but uh back in the day there were so many modders that would just give you all the achievements that it was never really worth it anyways so we actually do need to hit the box because there's two things that we will need we will either need a ray gun or an rpg and we will need the emps i guess a war machine could work too but i really don't want a war machine because this is actually probably the worst gun in the game and i don't have points now so i don't really know what i'm gonna do i guess that's just the type of guns you get when you play transit since it is an awful map you also gotta include awful guns i don't really want to progress too far into the rounds and i want to keep it as low as possible at least until i get set up and actually get a gun that is not a war machine okay so hopefully i can hit the box here and not die because i have no way to defend myself and I get the Barret. Let's go. I really have that transit luck right now. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, I promise that was the fear in me of having to rebuild the jet gun in transit. I have never been that scared of dying on round four in my life. My brain started remembering everything I went through in the last 30 minutes. All of the denizens, all of the portals, the war machine. I did get an executioner though, which this gun actually is goaded. I am not gonna lie. This is definitely a gun you could use, but there are definitely better weapons. An S12. Wow. I mean, I mean, the game has literally just given me every weapon that you probably wouldn't want. Luckily, I do need to hit the box as I have not gotten either of the two things I've needed as I'm just not using the war machine. Okay, and I got monkeys. The exact opposite of what I need. Of course, of course. That is my luck. And an SMR. Wow. I've literally gotten every gun that you would not want. I have literally gotten every gun that you would not want. Okay, a ballistic knife isn't bad, but it's still in that tier of like just weapons you would not want. Oh man oh and he's here too i don't even have and this doesn't one shot bro wait how do i kill him without can i what i don't even know how to kill this guy oh no 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 no. okay i hope knifing him works i don't know if that works i think you might need galvin knuckles dodge him there we go okay it does work it does work that should be it i should have gotten him i think four yeah okay we got him now i can hit the box and hopefully get a better weapon Okay, or just a teddy bear. That works too. So I now have Jug, and that makes me a little less worried. Because realistically, you just do not die with Jug unless you get trapped in a corner. Without Jug, you can pretty much just die from anything. So you do have to be a bit concerned. But I do have to go hit the box. I think that is farm. So yeah, that was farm. So I'm actually going to use this trick to hit the box without buying this door. Because come on, man, who even buys that door? So you have to jump, crouch, and then buy it. And you can also pick up your gun that way too. But I guess you really won't know what you got. But it is good for a situation like this where I don't want to be buying the door. Okay, so I did get an EMP finally. That took about 10,000 points just to get an EMP. Now, I still do need an explosive weapon, which shouldn't be too hard to get. There are a lot in the game. Okay, so the Avogadro is back, which kind of sucks because I am in the middle of the round. It's going to be kind of hard to hit the box here. I think I can EMP him. Oh my god, let's go. Finally, finally. The ray gun is just so good in Black Ops 2. So now I need to go all the way back to town and grab the jet gun because apparently I do not need my turbine. Wait, I'm actually pretty sure that I don't even need to place my turbine to open the portals. Man, that just shows how long it's been since I've played this map. Okay, so now I can get the jet gun. So we actually got to bring this back to that table that we built earlier on. And since I don't have my turbine, I guess I am going to have to run all the way there. So I now need to break the jet gun just in front of this table. And that should activate the next step of this Easter egg. Okay, so nothing thing actually happened when i did that but apparently i do need to kill 25 zombies in this area and i don't think there's really any indication that shows if i'm doing it right hopefully i do get a max ammo as i will need that because i am missing an emp and i will need four emps all right so i've definitely killed more than 25 zombies in this area and we did get a max ammo so that is great now let me go check the lights just to make sure that it did work does seem like it worked because this light is like tripping out that means we have to do the most difficult part of this, which is get extremely lucky. Which, honestly, that sounds better to me than building the jet gun, so I'm okay with it. But I do have to go back and grab the turbine, that way I can activate the portals so that this is possible solo. So here is one light that we have to activate. And we don't actually want to use the portal here, instead we just want to get all of the portals ready. I mean, by now, I'm sure everybody's seen the transit easter egg. But surprisingly, this is my first time ever doing this easter egg but not only that i've actually never even seen anybody do this easter egg i feel like i missed the light back here yeah i did okay i believe that is the final teleporter that we needed i don't think there is another one that i'm missing okay so this right here is the lamp that i need to do this next step i will need to get a max ammo drop because again we will need four emps for this to work i'm pretty sure i am pretty close on my cycle to a max ammo and it may just be the next drop I just got a max ammo and walked straight into it. All right, so I am now just completely out of ammo. And I literally only have my RPG left. I should be getting a max ammo soon, but yet again, I've literally gotten no power-ups. Okay, I might actually die using this thing. Okay, there's a max ammo. I'm going to scoot back a bit because I'm going to have to do this pretty quick. I have to do this so quick. 
Okay, so right here, come up, jump in, throw it down, jump again, come back. All right, so I just completely messed up. This is the most unideal game of transit I have ever played. I am running through the fog on round 20 with an RPG. What? How did that kill me? What? Bro, I had Jug. I was right there too and he didn't go into the... No way, man. No, no, no. What? What? All right, we are now back and I'm almost about to die already. Okay, there is the max ammo and a nuke. This is perfect. This is perfect. Let me line this up. So about right here, grab this. And that does seem like I did complete the Easter egg. Oh my god, finally! Finally! That took four hours! That took four hours! Oh my god, that took four hours! See, I was a bit confused at first because I thought Rick Toppin was supposed to say a quote, but I guess not. But oh my god, man, I have spent my entire day attempting this dumb transit easter egg we are now on dire rise and unlike transit this map actually does require a mod to be completed solo as there are a few steps that do require four people and from what i've seen of this easter egg it does seem extremely easy like transit however because we are playing dire rise and not transit it will definitely not be anywhere near as tedious and time consuming as transit because after that transit game i never want to play transit again but for this easter egg we actually do want to be playing as Stoolinger, which is the character I am currently playing. That way we can hear Rigtofen, and hearing Rigtofen allows us to know when we completed said objectives, and that's why I couldn't hear him last game. Now, I do need to get as many points as I can, as I do not have any points in my bank, and I do need to buy Quick Revive. Okay, so with Quick Revive, I think I will make my way down to the power room once I have about 2,000 points. That way, I can open the few doors that I do need to build the Slickwifier. So the Sliquifier is actually needed for this Easter egg, and thankfully it is extremely easy to build. And that is one of the reasons I love Die Rise, is you pretty much just get the best weapon for free. Now if you've ever played co-op on this map, you'll know that it was always a race to get this weapon, at least in a public match. And for people that played co-op, I could really understand why they didn't like Die Rise, as this was pretty much the troll map. You had trample steams flinging you off buildings, people stealing the Sliquifier, the Pack-a-Punch machine leaving mid-upgrade. And not to mention just turning the corner and getting absolutely flung off of the map. So with the Sliquifier built, I actually want to try and not kill any zombies. Because some of these steps I don't really want to be doing on a higher round. Because it will get a bit difficult. But as long as I stay below maybe round 7, this should be a free ride to an easter egg completion. Now the only downside to the Sliquifier is that since you are able to get it on pretty much round 1, it does not give you any points since it pretty much just one shots all of the zombies zombies instantly and you'll only receive about 60 points now the first step of this easter egg is to actually walk on this symbol on the elevator and i believe when playing co-op all four players will have to stand on four separate symbols on different elevators at the same time now luckily because we have this mod we don't have to do all of that now there is a certain symbol around the map that we need to stand on and unfortunately it is not this one so i will have to go look and find which one it is but before that i think i will take my time and build the trample steam because we will need that as well okay so with the trample steam built i can now go and find that symbol so i believe it is this symbol here now for the next step of the easter egg we will need the sliquifier and i do need to get a max ammo as we will need to shoot 40 shots of the weapon seeing as i haven't had a jumping jack round this game it should be next round i do believe so before we do the next step we actually need to get a sniper rifle now luckily there is a svu wall buy on this map so i do not need to spin the mystery box so from here what we need to do is shoot these dragon balls okay not dragon balls but we need to shoot the balls that are inside of the dragon's mouth now there should be fireworks behind the dragons and now we can do the next step so now i should be able to complete everything on this round and i shouldn't need to progress any further into the game 
Or I just die. Okay, I just die, I guess. I mean, that works too. That's actually not good. That is actually not good because all the zombies went into this room and no way. No. <laughs> okay, so I am back to where I left off. And as I was saying, we need to shoot this ball 20 times. And once we have shot it 20 times, it will start spinning. Okay, so now that one is spinning. Now we have to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And we now should be done with this step. No, it seems like I may have missed a shot. Okay, so we are now done and I am about to die. I did forget to get quicker vibe because I did not go this way as I did use the bank in this game. Because playing without the bank is just too difficult like come on so since i did restart we now have to work with this symbol but i'm not sure if it really matters so what we actually have to do is place our trample steam here and get kills towards this pylon and normally in a multiplayer game all four players would have to do this on the four symbols around the map but of course using the mod we only have to do this with one okay so it does seem like fireworks are going off now so i am assuming that i am done with this step so now the final step can be a bit confusing and seeing that i've never done it it will most likely probably be confusing and i don't actually remember where the spawn locations are but essentially there are maybe 12 spawn locations for eight card things you have to find i forget the name but essentially we have to match them with the colors and you have to spell out some code going northwest south and etc now i figure this is gonna take me an absolute long time because i didn't really understand it too well i'm pretty sure there is one in this room yeah right here okay so i'm actually gonna write this down now before we can even do anything we do have to buy the galvan knuckles as they are needed so there should be one right here all right here's another one it seems to be black this one is also red so this one is black and this one is green this one is blue and this one here should be the last one it should be red so I do believe that I have the correct combination now. That would be I start here. Red would be two. Blue would be three. And black should be the final one. Oh, I did it. Okay. For some reason, it made a sound that I didn't complete it, but I did get all the perks, which is the reward for completing it. And the tower is now glowing. That was a relatively easy Easter egg, although it did take me about an hour and a half to even complete that. Now we are on Buried, and this is another map that does require a mod to complete solo. But luckily, I did put points in my bank before starting up this match. So that will actually make it a lot easier, as this map is a bit more tedious than the last two that I've played. Not tedious. I should say, but the steps are a bit more difficult. However, it is probably easier than transit, I would say. At least from what I saw, I've actually never attempted this. So I am going to grab the PDW chalk and I'm going to put it just right here by the main area. Now, I actually need to get two items from the box. I'll need both the paralyzer and the time bomb before I can start the Easter egg. I mean, technically, I can start the Easter egg before getting either of those items, but I feel like it would be easier to get them both first. Honestly, I should probably get Leroy to lock the box first that way it doesn't move to some completely random area so i have about twenty-three thousand points to make this work ideally i want to get it before i spend around 15k and since this is buried guns are much easier to obtain from the box but i could go 50 something hits without ever getting it and you really just oh so i did get it in my first few hits so now all i need is a time bomb which shouldn't be too difficult i have about twenty thousand points left and there is the time bomb so we are already ready to get started on the easter egg and to do the first step we just need to build the gear which is this thing over in this area of the map and if you've never done the easter egg then you've probably just never even noticed that here's the first part so here is the second piece that we need there is the third part i believe the fourth part is this right here yes it is Okay, so now that I've built that, I think I am going to go get Jug before I do anything else. I think I will also hit the box just to get an actual weapon. And I got the Mark II on my first try. You see, I'm having complete opposite luck now that I'm on Buried. When I was on Transit, it was SMR this, War Machine that. Now it's just Paralyzer and Reagan Mark II all day. With the next step, we need to paralyze these orbs until they turn white. And there should be four of them on the map. I don't think I've ever noticed that crystal ever. I mean, I've never attempted the Easter egg, so there is no reason for me to ever see that. But I mean, at least with the other three I've seen at some point, I never seen that one. I now need to find a lantern that will be floating around. Why can't I paralyze out of here, bro? I'm just getting scammed. Since when? Since when can you not paralyze out of this building? 
I I'm just losing all my points. Bro, come on, bro. Nah, I literally just lost 10,000 points for no reason. That is just crazy. I thought you could paralyze over that rock, but you can't. I ha no, I just lost all. Okay. What? Dude, come on, man. Somebody's probably died that exact way before. Here is this lamp that I need to blow up. Now I will need to fill this lantern with souls from the witches. Essentially getting my payback for what just happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I only needed ten. I thought I needed way less than that, but I guess you need ten. All right, so now I need to put this lantern down up here and that should give me some sort of morse code type business whatever this is so figuring this out is actually pretty easy thanks to this sheet right here and our first one would be bone orchard following that would be lunger undermines and finishing off would be consumption cross okay before we can get started we do need to get the galvan knuckles as meleeing it with your normal knife will not work and while I am over here, I can get Leroy to open this as we'll need to open that later. I'm also going to need to open this as I do need Vulture Aid as I will have to follow around a Wisp and Vulture Aid allows me to see that Wisp as it teleports around the map. So we will start this off with a Bone Orchard and we will follow that up with the Lunger Undermines and Consumption Cross should finish this off. Okay, so there is the Wisp. Now I got to wait to see where it teleports to. I have to follow this Wisp around. Now you can see why I did need vulture aid because this would probably be impossible without it as you would not be able to see where it goes and it can literally go anywhere I do believe. You're also on a time limit while doing this so I'm not really sure how you would manage to pull that off. Okay so it did despawn so I'm gonna have to try this again. So this is probably my eighth time attempting following this wisp around the map and it seems like it always follows a set path and it is not random at all. And the only reason I messed up so many times is because I I didn't even know this was a room like i didn't know that was a door you could buy and then it goes underground which completely confused me i forgot you could even come down here and it just took me so many tries to even realize that these were places that you could go i thought my game was glitched for some reason but essentially what we we're trying to do is get this thing over to the guillotine so now we need to kill five zombies with the wisp around them and that will charge up the guillotine and send us into round infinity that should be the last one. So if we throw down our time bomb onto this table and then launch it, we will now be in round infinity. So we are on a time limit and we have to search the bodies around the map. Now there is an extremely huge downside to this and that is that the zombies are completely invincible and the body spawns are random. And I need to be careful here because the zombies are god mode. So if I do get trapped, that is game over. But there is a body here that I can search. Okay, we did not find anything. There is a another one here i don't think i'm gonna be able to get that that literally gave me no time to find the body so that was that was hard that was actually hard because you can't kill the zombie but i guess it is meant for more than one person so okay so i did just get a max ammo so now we can attempt this again hopefully i get a bit luckier here yeah, I do not know where these bodies are, man. I just cannot find them. All right, there is another max ammo. So now I can go back and attempt this for the third time and hopefully get lucky this time because who knows when I'll get another max ammo. Okay, so here is a body right off the rip. Nothing. Here is another body. Okay, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get that one. There is another body. Here's one right here. Okay, so I found four of them. Nothing there. Okay, I think I'll have to just instantly come to this one here. Nothing. Okay, I might just die for this. I found it. I found it. Let's go. Oh my, I didn't think I was ever going to find it. I mean, I found all four bodies and of course it was in the hardest one you could possibly have to search. All right, so now I need to add this part onto the guillotine and now we can start the next step. So I believe we do have to play process of elimination with these doors in the maze. There should be four levers and I have to figure out which ones to flip in the correct order. Okay, so for my first attempt, it seems like I literally did not even get one correct. So I will have to leave the witch his house just to even attempt this again okay so i do think red is the third one because while i was watching the yellow one i did hear a spark but no spark came out of the yellow one so i'm going to just do red as the third one from now on because i believe that is correct i have tried every color and if i do not get a spark here that means my game is bugged 
Okay, so we did get a spark. So the third one is red and the fourth one is blue. I believe it is yellow, green, red, blue. Yellow, green, red, and blue. I got it. Oh my God, man. I have been on this for an hour now. I attempted every combination twice besides blue. I literally did not get one spark until about 45 minutes into doing this. What? Bro, what is that? No way I die on the very final step of the Easter egg, right? Like, no actual way I just die on the very final step of the Easter egg, right? Oh, no, I kept my perks. I don't know how I kept my perks. I'm not actually sure why I kept my perks. That's probably something to do with the Easter egg if I had to guess because I literally have nothing installed. So for it to be anything else... Okay, I need to not die. Hold on. I don't even have quick revive. I have no ammo in my guns. And the paralyzer is really not an ideal gun that you want to use. Did get a nuke. I don't know if I really want to grab that because I do want to save a zombie here. And it does look like we are near the end of the round so before i start the final step of the easter egg i am gonna allow leroy to pick up this crawler that way he doesn't respawn and now we can go finish this easter egg so all we have to do is make a wish and that will put us in this sharpshooter game mode now in co-op you'll be teleported to four different locations and you will have to shoot all of these targets now since that is literally impossible in solo this mod pretty much just allows us to have to do nothing so once this is over i'll be awarded all perks all right so that looks like that was the easter egg completion as i do now have all of the perks now surprisingly this one took almost two hours to beat all of that time really comes from the switches to be honest so with mob of the dead this one is a bit strange because the easter egg can be completed entirely solo besides the final step of the easter egg which does require more than one person so there is two variations where you can do it without a mod but i am doing it with the mod that way we get the full experience because all the mod does is allows you to complete the final step which adds a bot that you get to 1v1 and kill that way you can break the cycle which is also the reason i am playing the weasel that way we do get the cannon ending now i am going to use the free door trick here that way i don't have to waste a bunch of points and i also need to open up some stuff as well now this easter egg is extremely simple as your entire objective is just building the plane and then refueling it a few times as well as grabbing some essentials like the spoon and the retriever and if you guys did not know this is probably my favorite map of all time because everything about this map is just so amazing and the theme of this map was just such a great idea idea and they executed it so well and when they did redo this map with blood of the dead it wasn't necessarily a bad remaster it was actually really good but the problem with black ops 4 is that the graphics and the engine are just not so great to play because with the older call of duties it does feel like you are playing a video game but with the newer ones they try to be extremely realistic and black ops 4 was actually the last game before they moved over onto like some extremely realistic level so we do need to grab the warden's key as well as activate some other stuff on this side of the map and we can open this door here and i may as well grab this drop down here hopefully it is a double points it is i don't think that ever changes what what bro bro like what is that man i'm not risking anything right now i i just cannot survive on round four i'm i just die so i'm not gonna even take any chances now all right so i do now have the warden's key so i am gonna open down to the docks and get some stuff set up unlock this open that so one thing that always sucks is that the doors on this side of the map they just cost so much points now i think i am gonna use the door trick again because i just do not have the points for this door there we go we got that one open and i'm also going to do all of this while i am down here oh i do not have any time at all wow that that went by quickly for some reason i thought it lasted much longer so with the warden's key we can also unlock this here so i do have nearly four thousand points now and i do do want to unlock jug as well as maybe activate some other stuff while in this afterlife i'm not sure how much time i really have to do this i feel like i remember having a lot more time than i do but i must be wrong and i think the last thing i can get on at least in the docks area is the gondola we do now have juggernaut so i think i am going to start to feed the dogs because we will need the retriever for later 
Okay, I don't I do not want to get trapped in this area and die. All right, I might actually get stuck in this area and die here. I want to get out of here without buying this door because this door is literally like 2000 points and that is just robbery. I need to get this part over here. That way I shouldn't have to come back down here. I may also just buy the Tommy gun. I need to feed the dogs. Hopefully I can get this done by round 10. So a core memory that I actually have is training in this area until round 20 and getting so scared that i just shut my game off because it was my first time ever playing solo and ever getting that far and i don't remember why but i just got really scared for some reason okay it is actually like extremely hard to run tight circles on controller on keyboard it feels much easier to run a train like that but that is definitely more difficult to do on a controller Whoa, no 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 i don't know how i got out of that one i, I should have died there but i'm not complaining while i am in this area i think i will activate this as well because i I don't think i need to come back down here nine zero six all right so we are done with the second dog hopefully i can get out of here that is not a room you want to be in on later rounds since so we did shock those panels earlier we can open this room and and get this plane part here so with the third dog finished i can now open the roof as well as turn on deadshot i do hear brutus spawned and i am not in a good area i need to run to the roof as soon as i spawn in and train up here until i kill this brutus Whoa! yo he can lock the bro come on i didn't even know he could do that bro bro why does he just go for the plane instead of going for me like what is that oh i don't have any ammo wait no nah, i get out of this Wait, nah, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I remember that you can just run through under the plane. You can unlock this and grab this plane part here. So really, all we have left is the one in the laundry room. And we just need to open this door and then shock that there. I'm going to grab the tomahawk while I am down here. Okay, so I am going to open up the laundry room now. We should have to do some sort of defense cycle now. It's been a very long time since I've ever even built a plane. I thought I remember a Brutus spawning during this, but I guess I am wrong. I don't think I have to kill the zombies. It should just be time-based. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now I can grab the part. I am completely out of ammo here, and I am stuck in this tiny room. This room's actually decent size, so I imagine I can get out of this. Do need to buy some ammo, and I'm not really sure what plane part I'm missing. I'm pretty sure that it's the first one that I opened, and I just never grabbed it because I wanted to avoid that small room. One, zero, eight. So it does seem like that part actually actually resets apparently because i did enter that code in earlier and it was a different code so i guess it just resets as well as i can hear a timer playing in the background yeah see it does seem to count down here i don't think i've ever noticed that but there we go now we have the final part to the plane and i also want to go get the free blunder gat on this round i think i do remember where all the five skulls are there is one right here now if you guys didn't know the one from the roof can actually be grabbed by just throwing your tomahawk right there and that avoids us having to run all all the way up to the roof and get this one here grab the second one that is at the docks the last skull should be right here in the warden's office and now we should get the free blunder gat there we go in all of its glory pretty sure a brutus spawns if i'm not wrong i could be wrong we can now craft the plane and make our way to the golden gate bridge for the first time in this game now there is something that we have to do while on this plane and every mob of the dead player has done this before we will have to come back to the golden gate bridge two more times after this which is essentially the next step of the easter egg but i am gonna pack a punch both of my guns here because i do have the points and i really don't need any other perks do have to kill brutus here he is extremely easy to kill with the blunder guy i actually just one-shotted him i'm pretty sure he's that easy to kill for the entire game i'm not sure if his health changes the higher rounds you go but he is always just so easy to kill here's another one let's one shot him again there we go here's another one i mean if that doesn't show that the blunder gods guarded then i don't know what is this animation here is one of my favorite essentially the bridge gets zapped and then you go into this you get shocked type form this map is just so cool man i know i've already said it but oh my god i really just love this map in my eyes there just is not a better map than mob of the dead man the blunder guy is just so good i love how i'm just ego boosting every weapon i get by killing zombies on a low round like, of course they're going to be one shot. So I believe we can actually start and get the spoon. We will need to go into afterlife and zap the spoon inside this wall. I'm sure everybody's done this by now. But here that is. 
So I somehow missed zapping the spoon, even though I did zap it 20 times. I guess that's just what happens when you're garbage, I guess. I, I mean, I don't know how I missed that, but <laughs> that is unreal. One of the best features of the Blender Gat is that it is able to create crawlers, despite not even being an explosive weapon. I mean, obviously, we're not going to get a crawler now because we are on round 12, so it's just going to one-shot everything. But in the small chance that a zombie gets hit by one pellet, it will create a crawler, as it did here. And in my eyes, this is one of the best wonder weapons of all time. But now I should be able to get the spoon from the cafeteria right here okay i do now have the spoon the knife animation is the same but it is a two hit kill the golden spork is much stronger but we actually do not need that for this easter egg it's kind of relief that they don't make you build the acid gat the upgraded tomahawk and get the spork just to do the easter egg and they're just additional side quests So with the plane refilled, we can now go to the Golden Gate Bridge for the second time. And I never realized how easy this Easter egg actually is. For some reason, back when this game released, I thought Easter eggs were extremely difficult. But at least for this map, the Easter egg is literally just playing the game. So I am going to wait to end the round here. That way, the gas respawns on round 13 instead of having to do an entire additional round. So we can end the round here because we do want to get to round 13. And this will be the final time that we have to ride to the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, not the final time, but the three times needed for the Easter egg step. So I did just refuel the plane, and this is the final time that we will need to ride the plane for the current Easter egg step, as the next step is technically the final step if you are playing without a mod. And I really just want to say that this map is so amazing. And the people who worked on this map are actually so talented that it is just unreal. Because to take a real life location and think of a theme to create a story behind it just takes so much effort, dedication, and just talent to even do that. And this was way back early 2012. I mean, nowadays, I doubt a map like this, they, they would even be able to make a map like this. But they have not had a, a good map since I would say D-Machine on Cold War. That map was actually pretty decent. But everything after that, nah. And D-Machine wasn't even great. It just wasn't awful. Now, if you are playing without a mod, this right here is the final Easter egg step. Essentially, we have to enter a code into here. And it never changes. The first is 101. Now, we have to do three eight six now we have to do eight seven two and the final one is four eight one so a bot has now spawned in and we need to find these five audio drops around the map and listen to the story i guess so i'm guessing it's just the inmates talking behind the weasel's back and plotting to kill him is what i'm getting from this i haven't listened to it all yet here is another one wow that's really cool so it basically just explains all of the backstory to what is about to happen i guess and i've actually never heard this because i've never done the easter egg so i now need to end the round that way the bot respawns because i am literally about to destroy this guy but i now need to go into afterlife and from here we can board the plane without refilling it and the bot is here as well all right so now we have to revive the the bot and we should be able to kill him okay hope that can one shot this guy let's go just like that the cycle is broken life over we survived 14 rounds so we are now on to our final map of this video and that is of course origins and this easter egg can be completed solo without mods which i'm sure everybody probably knows that because this is the most iconic easter egg of all time and honestly i'm probably the only person that has not done this easter egg ever because when i think of call of duty zombies easter egg the first thing i always think about is the origins easter egg now this actually is my second attempt at this map and essentially my first attempt i got kicked off of the servers and i decided just to fully restart with a new attempt because i was on like round 20 with no staffs upgraded and that is just that's awful that is awful but we can grab this maxis drone piece and a shovel as well i will also get quicker vibe because that is pretty much needed i will start to make my way towards generator 2 and i will also look for the shield pieces as well as start digging since it is snowing but for now i'm going to start this generator while i still have my zombie blood activated and i do need to grab the blue disc for the ice staff that will most likely be the first one i do upgrade because i do know how to upgrade that one and i don't really remember how to do the rest of them because i literally only ever get the ice staff because i don't ever play co-op okay i'm definitely gonna have to buy the mp40 if i don't then i will just die i think i will save that double points that is in the spawn room for next round because 
round two and three are pretty small and i'm not gonna get that many points from it so it'd be a huge waste to even use it okay i did find the ice staff piece it was on the generator two side luckily i did come back and check just because i was looking for the shield part and honestly i probably would have missed it if i didn't come back and look for the shield part anyways here is that shield part we can now start generator three and i don't think the pace we are on now is too terrible but again there really isn't much to improve on besides just getting more points because this literally is the start of the game okay so i did lie and i am going to use that double point on this round because honestly i just kind of forgot i think i will wait a second just so that a good amount of zombies will spawn in okay i will grab it now we do have an insta kill double points combo right now so this is actually really good we might be able to get an incredible amount of points here i got another double points again okay so we are actually just farming eight thousand points oh my god hey good thing i saved that i mean i probably would have still got the same drops either way i think i should be able to open up most of the map now if not everything besides the pack a punch and we can grab the lightning disc here now i can get generator five on and grab the wind disc as well i do need to fill up all of these soul boxes so i'm gonna try and not kill any zombies unless it is on a soul box okay, so i am completely out of ammo but i'm really close to filling this box so hopefully this grenade can actually Ooh, no 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 so these grenades should hopefully fill up that box i hope or if they just get one kill i guess i mean that works too okay there's one it should be so close any second now this guy how is it not full i just killed more than an entire round inside of that soul box bro what is that okay it's gotta be like one or two zombies literally yeah it was literally two zombies okay and there is a panzer here and i don't have jug i do need to go get jug asap all right so now i have jug and i need to kill this panzer now now for whatever reason the mp40 just sucks after like round seven on this game i don't know why what bro bro no no, no. I, need, I need to fill soul boxes i do not want to kill any zombies unless it is on top of a soul box can he just die oh my god i'm out of ammo bro all right bro all right we did take out the panzer now i can get the first fire staff piece which is only the second staff piece that we've gotten so far now i think once it starts snowing that is when i will start going and grabbing all of the staff pieces and for now i am just going to finish filling up the soul boxes because we will need the one inch punch yo the mp40 is just so garbage man i'm struggling to take out round nine zombies this box here should be about full i do believe like there's just no way it's not close there's no way i don't fill it with all these zombies here no i mean i guess it just takes 500 zombies to fill this thing i guess really really there's no way no because on my previous attempt i learned that these things will close if you do not fill them in time um okay at least that's here at least that's here at least that is here okay wait maybe i can get this piece here if i'm quick enough i don't think i'm gonna be quick enough nope i'm not i'm not and i'm just prone to, oh my god what am i doing i went to dolphin dive and my dude just laid prone the box closed bro what is that wait so if the robot steps on it that's how it closes bro that is ridiculous bro nah this nah ha <laughs> Nah, I do not like this map. I do not like this map. This is not something I would play in my free time. What is happening with this guy? Nah, right, yeah. Yeah, me too. I at least put 60 souls into that dumb soul box i had to do it twice by the way okay finally it literally needed one zombie it literally needed one zombie there are more soul boxes on the map that i do need to fill i know there is one on the church side and we can grab this disc too while we are here that reminds me that i definitely need to open pack a punch you know what i'm actually gonna go and get some staff pieces instead of just worrying about these soul boxes all day because i do not want to be in a situation where it is round 20 and i don't even have one staff done like that that is not fun so here is one of the fire staff pieces i do gotta keep a lookout for the red plane that way i can finish that one off and i am going to tank the tank now that way i can get some of these lightning staff pieces yo why is this guy able to sprint on the tank bro bro how am i supposed to make this jump okay there is one lightning staff piece all right there is another panzer but here is a shield part that i can grab actually the robots are coming so let me go see if i can complete this soul box before this guy closes it because it is so close uh i might be able to do this all right i just need to throw grenades here and hope that it gets some kills there okay i literally got like no kills i ran out of ammo 
No, what? Bro, bro, come on. No, bye. Bro, bro. At least I can kill this guy. Nah, dude, I need to go get better guns, bro. Bro, bro, this guy literally was just spawn trapping me. Bro. Okay, okay. I, I think I can get Jug and get out of this corner. All right, all right. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. That was way too close. And there is the plane. I can shoot that down. And we do got to get quick revive again. I don't really want to die that much because I want to keep my quick revives for as long as I can. You know, I'm also going to hit the box while I am here because this MP40 just sucks. I don't want it. There is a robot coming. All right, I hope this robot is the side that I'm on. No, it's not. Of course it's not. Why would it be? All right, I am going to open Pack-a-Punch because... If I don't, then I'm just stuck with garbage weapons. I guess you don't even have to open Pack-a-Punch. I forgot that you don't need to go into the staff area to upgrade. But let me see if I did fill that soul box. I don't even think it's possible to tell. No, I don't. I, how do I tell, bro? Right, I'm just going to kill that zombie. There's really nothing I can do besides get the lightning staff pieces. And we are now on a snow round. So now I can actually get stuff done. And there is the ice staff piece. Why does this robot come over here so much, bro? He's came over here like 10 times. Okay, here's the last ice staff piece. Bro, I don't even got the gramophone, bro. What am I doing? All right, now I got the gramophone. And we can now grab the ice staff crystal. Okay, so now we have our first piece of the wind staff. Bro, I just completely forgot that I have to pick up the gramophone. All right, we now have the ice staff. So we do have actually a decent weapon now. Not that the boom hilda is bad, but you pretty much just instantly run out of ammo when you actually use it. You know, I almost did forget to pick this up. I almost did. All right, so we... We first got to shoot this one and then this one here and this one i believe and that should be one this one here and that one should finish it off uh, i didn't forget this time i'm actually pretty sure i do have to get rid of my boom hilda now because you do need an unpack a punch weapon to shoot the tombstones okay so here's one so it looks like we are back to the mp40 for now i'll definitely be getting rid of it but we can shoot that one and then we can also get this one here as well as grab this fire staff all right shoot this one here shoot that now and i will ride the tank that way we can also grab the lightning staff piece because we do have to go back that way anyways all right so here's this lightning staff piece and i am going to complete basically the last step of the ice staff it's actually so easy to upgrade this staff i don't know about the others because i don't know how to do them but we will end up seeing soon how hard those actually are i doubt they're hard and I think that is all of them blue. So now I have to shoot this. So I am going to put this in the pedestal. That way I can start working on the fire staff. Or I may do the lightning staff. I'm not sure yet. Because I don't even know where the fire disc even is. And here is this Maxis drone piece that I will need later. So I think the fire staff disc is actually somewhere in this location. But here is also the shield part. And actually I was probably honestly thinking of the shield part. And I don't even think it's in this location. So I did need to refresh my memory just a little bit because i know the discs will always spawn near a generator and the fire disc always spawns near gen 6 but for some reason i thought it spawned near gen 2 usually it spawns in this area right here now i'm pretty sure i have to go all the way back to gen 2 because that is where the fire tunnel is and we can now grab the crystal for the fire staff bro this is like transit 2.0 i feel like i'm running around more than i was when i was playing transit so now i can craft the fire staff and i will start working on the upgrade for this i don't actually know what to do so i'm gonna have to figure it out okay so completely forget what i just said because apparently you have to kill zombies to even do the first step of upgrading the staff so i'm just gonna go and build the lightning staff and then work on that one because i don't think that one requires you to kill zombies at least i hope not do gotta call the tank down here while i wait for the tank i will build the zombie shield because that may just save our lives so there is a robot coming Coming, and I actually don't know if I'll be able to make this. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Okay, I got it. It wasn't that close. But we did get the second piece for the wind staff. We are progressing good right now. I may be able to get all these staffs built in this one round. But I would rather focusing on upgrading them. Because that is definitely more difficult to do. Bro, I, I hate that these guys can come up here when you're about to jump off because my game is like freezing oh my god bro i thought i was gonna get like glitch under the tank and just die right, i think the lightning tunnel is this one over here and the wind is in the middle of the map here is the crystal so i'm now gonna go build this and i really hope i don't have to kill any zombies to upgrade this or at least just get it back in the pedestal okay so i can now craft this and i believe picking this one up should put the other one in there and it does i mean this map literally is transit 2.0 i have to run all the way back 
back and go where I just came from. And you have to do that like a total of 30 times throughout the match. So the first thing I need to do is shoot this one, I think. So I think I'm done with that. I don't even know if I'm done with that, to be honest. It seemed kind of like bugged out for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if I just did it wrong or what, but this one here needs to face up and the one at excavation needs to face down downstairs church goes to the left upstairs church goes down gen 4 has to go down spawn goes to the right and tank station goes up so we are now done with that and i actually did it the wrong way the first time if you couldn't tell i thought the longer side was the way you were supposed to turn it but no not sure why it's like that but it is thankfully that was a really easy upgrade so now i can just go change the color of the stones to purple and then place it in the pedestal and then i can work on the wind staff assuming it doesn't take kills to upgrade i should now have them all on purple i do believe now we can just shoot the orb okay so i'm actually pretty sure that i did the first step wrong I don't know what I did, but I just shot random tiles and it eventually just worked. I'm not kidding. I don't know if my game is bugged or what, because when I input the code correctly, it was not working. And then I just ended up shooting random tiles and it eventually worked. All right, so I can now insert this into the pedestal and the only staff we have left is the wind staff, but hopefully I can get the wind staff done this round. I don't know if I have to kill zombies to upgrade this. And luckily it seems like I do not have to kill any zombies to upgrade this staff. Okay, so to upgrade this, it seems fairly simple. So I just need to change the last one and we did get it. Okay, that was really easy. Okay, so now I have to blow the smoke into a certain direction and it should completely disappear. I don't know if I have to do them all before they disappear. So let me go figure out if that is the case. And I should be able to blow this one from here. Okay, so yeah, I did have to blow them all in a certain direction. But now we just need to complete the fire staff as that one does require kills. We went from having absolutely nothing done on round 12 to literally completing almost everything on round 13. All right, so that should be all of them on yellow now. And I can shoot this and go put this in the pedestal. And then I will be able to start the next round as well as start upgrading the fire staff put this here now we can pick this up all right so it seems like i have to kill zombies in this location with the fire staff so we have two lit right now the wind staff has also finished upgrading while we are doing this so that is great so i think i am done with this step yes i am so it does seem like there is only one zombie left which is great because now i can complete this staff as the rest of the steps don't require getting any kills so i should be able to have all of these staffs upgraded on round 15 so i think i am going to fill this soul box first because we do have to do this anyways and i may as well since i am in this area okay so the first one is 11 which is right here we have to light it with fire the next one is seven which is this one here the next one is six and that one is here now the next one is four and we are now done. That step was a bit confusing because I was entering the correct code, but for some reason it just never worked. And then I entered the code randomly and it worked, but I have already set all of these things to red. So we just need to shoot this orb and now we can go place this in the pedestal in the crazy place. So now I can end the round and finish getting the kills for the last two staffs that I need. And we will have all these staffs fully upgraded. So I think in terms of which staff I am going to use i think i will keep the wind normally i would prefer the ice but for completing an easter egg a situation like this where i could have just died in a matter of seconds the wind staff pretty much has saved my life there that is all staff fully upgraded now so we do now need to finish building the maxis drone and luckily i am only missing one part and that part seems to be right here now i do believe i only have one soul box as well that way we can get the one inch punch and 
start building the G strikes. Okay, so it took about the entirety of round 17 and 18 just to complete that. We can now grab our first G strike tablet. Now we can place this into here and I'll have to get some melee kills so that way we can cleanse it of mud. I do believe that is what we are doing. So it is a two hit melee as of now. So this is going to be a bit difficult to do on round 19. All right, so it is finished and I do have a zombie blood. So this is perfect. Now I have to avoid the mud and I don't really know what path I take here. We should be able to place this back down at the table. All right, so now I have to get another 25 melee kills in this area, which may be even more difficult than the last. Wow, I don't even know how I'm supposed to melee. Them. Oh, an insta kill. This is perfect. Whoa, no, no, what? And the nuke is gone. No way, I'm gonna die. What? All right, so we are now back. It's been a few days, but I am essentially where I left off. But now I do have the one inch punch as well. And all these staffs are currently upgraded. Now I've been done with this since like round 20. I accidentally traded my bomb things and I'm forgetting what they're called. But essentially I trade them for monkeys and it literally took me probably 75,000 points just to get them back. And I was trying to get the ray gun, but now that we're on round 28, it's kind of pointless to have the ray gun because it's not that good now. And I don't even have phd either but we can essentially start the first step of the easter egg now which is putting the four staffs in their respective robots but i am just going to do the fire staff glitch because this is much easier than having to do it the normal way now once i put this in here for the fourth time we will then be able to start the hardest step which is the step that i've been failing on for days now i have literally failed about four games at the next step because i didn't realize that there's actually a trick to it and i was trying to do it normally but it was just way too difficult all right so we are are at the end of round 30 and i have two zombies left i don't think i've damaged them so they shouldn't respawn now i need to see if this is the correct robot okay yes 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 this is this is because it is a one out of three chance i've learned that because i have literally done this step way too many times now okay so what i've been doing is instantly hitting the button and then running back and going in so what i'm gonna do now is actually let the robot kick me out that way i have more time to throw it i think i want to press it on one all right i think i got it i think i got it now hopefully i can throw this at the correct angle or actually no i didn't even spawn over there okay so i gotta be quick i gotta be quick right here please i think i got it i think i got it i got it i got it oh my god i finally got it oh my god it has been days it has been literal days and i finally got it it literally took me two days just to open that hole i'm not kidding okay here's the panzers so i'm not sure if the wind staff was a good choice to kill these panzers here i know the ray gun is good but i'm not sure if it's going to be good for this i really do not want to die here like i i'm so serious whoa, whoa, whoa. that dude came out of nowhere okay the ray gun takes about 10 shots just to even kill him oh no oh no oh no i got out of that I do not want to get hit. Oh my God, I just got triple shot. That is crazy. I think I've killed quite a few of them now. I don't even think the insta kill works on the panzer. There's a max ammo. Can I grab it? Okay, we did get a max ammo. It does seem like there is only one more panzer and I believe this crawler is my only zombie left. So that is unfortunate because he is going to respawn. No, there's one more here and that should definitely be all of the panzers now. So now I have to go and grab the ice staff, which is kind of unfortunate because that zombie is going to respawn. Here we go. Now we got the ice staff. Now I want to get out of here as soon as possible all right, i need to get out of here as quickly as i possibly can all right, i now need to extinguish the flames on these red wagons here there we go there's one here is another one and then this is the final one here so a zombie blood should have spawned at the excavation site now so now i gotta shoot down a plane not sure how i'm gonna do this with the ray gun there it is so i'm pretty sure i gotta lead the bullet here I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. So now I got to kill this guy here and he should drop the part. There it is. There's the Maxis drone. All right. So the next step is going to be the most difficult step. I do believe. And that is only because we are on round 32 attempting this. I don't think it is that hard if you're not on round 32. All right. So now I have to go all the way down into the excavation site and I have to remove the smoke and kill 20 Templar zombies with my fist. I'm going to take this really slow and I don't know if I actually have to kill them, but I am going to make sure I have my ice staff out. Out because it seems like it's like a four hit kill to even kill this guy oh my god all right so i am just gonna play around with the ice staff and punch the smoke off of them i hope it works this way because getting melee kills is gonna be way too difficult to do 
All right, so I did get it. It did work that way. Now I just got to get out of here without dying. Oh my God, this might actually be difficult. Oh my God. No, no, no. I can just keep rapping like this. Yes, sir. We're out of there. So we are now on to the very final step of the Easter egg. And hopefully I will be able to claim my max ammo reward because I don't really want to go in there right now without full ammo. All right, so I did get a max ammo. Now I'm coming over into the lightning tunnel. That way I have more time. So I need to place the ice staff here. Then I do need to go grab the fire staff and that will be the last one we do need. So so when we insert this, we will then be on the very last step, I hope. All right, so I need a hundred kills here and that will fill up the place in the middle. And once we have done that, then that is the Easter egg complete. And I really got to focus here because uh, there is no way I'm attempting this for a seventh time. So I think I can actually use my airstrikes. I don't need them anymore. So they will be extremely helpful for getting kills. I don't know why I decided to get a ray gun, but then just not get PhD. I want to save my last G-strike in case I absolutely need it. Oh my. It just takes so many bullets to kill them with the ray gun. I wonder if I'll even have enough ammo for this. This isn't anywhere near as hectic as I thought it would be. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh my God. Yeah, so I might actually run out of ammo here. All right, so I've completely ran out of ammo in my ray. Oh my God. Oh my God. Throw this down. Throw it down now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm leaving this. I'm leaving this now. I'm leaving this now. Oh my god. See, it's such a good thing that I saved that. I don't know if it actually got any kills, but it may have just acted as a monkey bomb, which did save my life. So it seems like I'm gonna have to finish this off with an Unpack-A-Punch AK-74U, and I do not know how realistic that actually is, or if that's even possible to do. No, there's no way, bro. It literally takes a full clip to even kill one guy. I do have grenades. I may be able to get a few grenade kills here. All right, so at least I can kill these crawlers with this gun. Not sure how many kills I need. Have not been counting. I'm done. Let's go. Finally. I just got to send this Maxis drone up. Where is it? Where's my Maxis drone? Bro, wait, what do I do? Okay, so I, I actually think that I have to go back to that table and grab the Maxis drone. I think I actually like have to go grab it. Okay, it is right here. Um, I don't remember which tunnel I came down into. Um, I, I think it was lightning. I think it was lightning. I'm just going to run a lightning and hope that's what it was. If it wasn't lightning, I'm dead. Please be lightning. Please be lightning. Okay, it is in the portal's open. Now I have the Maxis drone. Now I just got to send it up. Let's go. Let's go. Get in there, little buddy. Let's go. Whoa, he's not going in. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. I've never done this before in my life. Let's go. All right, so I think I just have to interact with it, and it should end the game. Oh, my God. 34 rounds. A round 34 Origins Easter egg completion. Oh, my God. This was a pretty fun video to make, and I also decided to include my overall rating for each map's Easter egg below. This is, of course, my personal opinion, and this only applies to the solo version of these Easter eggs. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day.